<laughs> what's up, guys? What's happening, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Seabone. You know what it is, man. Uh, how, 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 how is the question? How do you get your family to get on your side? How do you get people to support you, your closest friends and family to support you in your health decisions? And how do you convince them that they need to eat better? The first thing that I will say is that you must understand that you're not going to be able to change people's opinions. You're not going to be able to change uh, how they look uh, at life. You're not going to be able to change them, period. It's just not going to happen. Stop trying. I've tried to do it before. People have tried to do it to me, and I hate when people try to change me. I hate when people try to come in and, and, and force an idea myself. I've been the enforcer of an idea before, and I've seen the resentment that it brings to me when people don't understand it, they don't, they don't, they don't grasp it or whatnot, and I just don't want to do that to anymore, anybody anymore because I've learned from it. So the first thing that you want to do is get the hell off that trip. You're not going to change anybody. You're not going to change how they look at you. You're not going to change how they look at health and nutrition. You're not going to change on, on the fact that they've been eating this way for the last 30, 40 years, and they love their Coca-Colas, and they love their cupcakes, and they love their Twinkies, and they love all that crap that's making them healthy, uh, unhealthy, unhappy, depressed, unsatisfied, anxious, and all these other things. You're not going to change that stuff, okay? So get off of that trip. Number two, if they start to question you, if they start to question why are you doing this? Why are you, you depriving yourself of the good stuff? And why are you trying to get all of a sudden healthy and fit and, and you don't want to be fat anymore and this and that? Or why is this? And, and, and the best defense that I have come up for something like this is to answer their question with another question. And what I mean by that is answer their question with this question. Why does it bother you that I don't want to be anxious no more? Why does it bother you that I don't want to have a whole lot of stress and I want to bring it down? Why does it bother you that I want to get fit? Why does it bother you that I want to lose some weight? Why does it bother you that I want to have some confidence? And when you ask them these questions, when you ask them these questions, they're going to pretty much stumble all over themselves. And if they don't, then they'll say, oh, you know, they'll come up with different excuses and this and that. And you know what? Here's the thing. If they come back with a bunch more excuses and a bunch more reasons, then here's the thing. You've got to get rid of those people out of your life. And if they're family, you can't necessarily get them out of your life, but you can dictate how much time you spend with those people, man. Stop spending the time with the, spending time with people who just don't understand it and who are wanting to discourage you. They're wanting to discourage you, and they're wanting to tell you something that you can't do. Forget about it, man. Just let it go. Let it flip and go because you know who you are. You know what you want, and you know that you control your destiny. And if you don't know that, understand that your boy Sebo knows that, and I believe in you, and I believe that you got it inside of you, so don't ever give up on that. Don't ever give up on happiness. Don't ever give up on there's a possibility, there's a slight chance that you may have the life that you've always wanted and you can find it through health, nutrition, uh, eating really good foods and exercising and reading good books and doing stuff like that. You can find it if you really truly want it. I am not a perfect person. By far, I am not a perfect person. There are a lot of things about myself I do not like, but I work on them every single day. There are days where I have bad days, and I admit it. There are days that I have bad days, and I say I screwed up. I did wrong. I shouldn't have done that. I want to get better. I want to constantly improve myself, and that, my friends, is where the magic is. That right there will keep you coming back, and that right there will keep the magic flowing, will make you show up to your workouts, will make you eat that good food, the lean proteins, the whole grains. If you're on that if you're on that diet, you're not on a paleolithic diet, as I say, fruits, vegetables, nuts, berries, you know what it is, man. Whole foods, whole foods that were coming from a plant. Maybe you killed an animal, whatever it is, but just stop eating the box canned processed foods. And if, when you start to do that, you will start to get closer to your goals. And I'm going off on a rant here. I don't know where I'm going with this. But the thing is, is that you want to understand that you can't change anybody and that you have to make it up in your mind that this is what you want. And if they ask you a question about why you're doing it, you answer their question with the question and say, why does that upset you that I want to be healthy and happy? Hope this has helped. Remember to get rid of the crap. Stop eating the crap majority of the time, have a 90-10, 98-2%, whatever it is, 
90% of the time eating good, 10% of the time eating bad. Whatever it is, start where you're at, and I hope this has helped, and I'd love to see you at Life Purpose Boot Camp.